This is our lab, where we're going to do some incredible body experiments. Ah, that really hurt. Just don't try any of this at home. Today, it's muscles. Meet Tiny from Tottenham. Yeah, we've already met. Tiny, put my brother down. <coughs> Go on, mate, let me down. <laughs> You've got a lot of muscle. Can we have a look at your biceps? Not Chris, not you. How big is that bicep? 24 inches. 24 inches, so that's 61 centimetres. That's amazing. So Tiny's bicep is probably bigger than your waist. Tiny's muscles are big and very, very strong. But what are they made of? Well, your muscles are made up of fibres formed from millions of individual cells, and blood vessels deliver the energy that your muscles need in order to move. Now, a single muscle fibre on its own isn't very strong, but when you gather a bunch of them together, they become much more powerful. But Tiny doesn't have any more muscle cells than Chris. So how did Tiny's muscles get so big? Tiny, how have your muscles got so big and strong? I've been training for 15 years. The only day I don't train is Christmas Day because the gym's shut. I don't train on Christmas Day. <laughs> right, so when Tiny goes to the gym and lifts weights, what happens is the heavy weight causes small tears in the muscle fibres, and that stimulates his body to build those fibres back bigger and stronger than before. That's how his muscles got so big and strong. Tiny, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for coming in today. <laughs> Chris, never be cheeky to a man called Tiny. So, how do our muscles actually work? Now, your brain controls your muscles by sending a small electrical charge down a nerve to the muscle. That tells the muscle to move. But what happens when we take control away from the brain and stimulate the muscle directly with these electrodes? I'm attaching electricity conducting pads to Chris's arms. When I press these buttons, electrical charges are sent directly to his muscles, which will make his arms move. See? That was me! Now let's see how many beakers Chris can down while I try to override his brain and control his muscles. OK, Chris, 15 glasses, 30 seconds. Now remember, I'm in control. You've got to drink as much as you can. Right, you ready? No problem. Go. <laughs> Chris is struggling because whilst his brain is sending electrical charges to move his muscles correctly, I'm interfering by sending my own electric charges. With these opposing charges fighting each other, Chris's coordination is all over the place. I'll let go of it. There we go. Oh. <laughs> you can't, you can't, you cannot let go. No, right. Just put it down. Just no, I've got it. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 I'm pretty well, only two left. <laughs> So we've shown that you can override the brain using these electrodes, but not very successfully. The brain is really important for coordination of muscles. You did really well, Chris. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>